Hi guys, I just finished a video, a video about how to build Arco Linux XS LTS. It's part of our learning curve, learning path, and it's um, already a little bit further down the road. If you're coming from Windows, this will be a little bit too difficult yet. But at some point, you know that you can build your own ISO and be in control. And that's what we've done. We've built an Arco Linux XS LTS. We're going to install it and what's on there, what are the Lego blocks, the pieces that we've uh, decided to install, all of these. These guys are all installed on that particular operating system that we've built. Time to test it out. Super F7. So, clone. This is an Arco Linux. It's, well, often I type it like this, Arco Linux and then S and LTS. So the kernel is different. It's not the standard kernel, it's the long-term support kernel. And then we go and open it up. Come on, click, choose a disk file, go to the home, Arconix out, Arconix LTS, open, boot. And then it's just like any other installation out there. First, decide where it's best for your hardware to start with. Eh? decide the line to start with. If you don't have Nvidia, it's certainly not gonna be three and four. If you do, it can still be troublesome in the sense that there is Nvidia, but also the driver Nvidia 340, 390. So it's really up to you to decide which one of the five line will work for laptop X, laptop Y, laptop Z, desktop X, Y, Z. It all matters, the hardware that's on there. Let's see which line works. Then you go for an installation and virtual box like us. Number one, line number one is going to be great. At this point in time, the stuff from Nvidia is removed. You see the line, the fourth line at the, from the bottom, remove Nvidia. So it's gone. We don't need it. We're in virtual box. Voila. Remember the choices we've made. We got rid of Sardi, we got rid of Surfen. That's your decision and this is the consequence. Okay. The rest is, um, I'm not going into detail. I mean, I've made so many videos about it. So update Arch Linux mirrors, make get the fastest Arch Linux servers, clear everything up, begin an installation. Use this one if you're really beginner in Linux and if you're already a few intermediate let's say a Linux user you can use the advanced installation option but it's not as simple as you might think it's not let's select everything and it's gonna work no it's not right so as for me Eric Dubois will always use a beginner installation much easier less to decide and I'll decide things later sudo pacman minus s spotify sudo pacman minus s dropbox i'll get my stuff later next erase disk no swap x4 i'm all cool with that and then we go for an installation the passwords need to be the same and the main difference with the arc linux xs It's, it's gonna come it is gonna come it takes a while <laughs> so uh, I was going to say the main difference is the long-term support that's it LTS long-term support we're using a kernel and sometimes we tell people that when they say I have troubles connecting to the internet my Wi-Fi card this my webcam card that then we often say did you try out the LTS kernel and that's super simple. Trying that out means to do pacman minus s and Linux LTS. Enter. Simple, right? Then the Linux LTS kernel is installed. You'll boot up with the Linux LTS. Try it out. Better. Fine. Stick to LTS on that particular machine. So it's always about, well, two things, right? Knowledge and choices. All the rest can go subscribe to the YouTube well there is nothing here right remember 
Well, we did, we did tell them to install Vivaldi. So there is a, an, a browser because we decided to put it on there. But uh, normally there's nothing. XS means there is no software. But we also selected VLC, remember? And uh, that's about think it that I was a sublime text maybe. What else did I select during the building of the ISO? Well, before the building of the ISO, there he is. Sublime text has been decided that we need. Vivaldi has been decided, and VLC has been decided. I think there was another one that we decided to put on there. Ah, yeah, to put not on there. We've done the Saturday and the surfing. What we did put on there was a new mix guys so I need to tell them hey guy there is a new mix circle light um, yeah that's good cancel this is what we were going for remember the new mix circle icons are not from Arconix icons for Arconix stuff will never ever have an icon unless you ask the Numix developers, please can you add an icon for, and that's the only way to get icons. Well, there is another way, <laughs> there's always a way, right? But um, no, it's, it does not have any icon, right? So that's why we have the servant icons, the Sati icons, they will be just perfect for us. And even uh, we have more than that, right? We have also the Arclex, always forget the name. Let's try to find it again. Pseudo Pacman minus S Linux. Let's first get the databases in. It doesn't know yet what it has. Now he knows what he can have. Article Linux. Um, wondering the name. Yes, <laughs> this is everything we have. Candy Beauty, that's the name. Yeah. Arclinix Candy Beauty is another icon theme we've created. Well, it's basically a rework, remastering of other ones, other ones icons, put in a day's work to make it beautiful for hours. And all the icons are there. So choices, choices, choices. Uh, let's wait a little bit. Let's well pause the video because I can't keep talking, right? But we're almost at the end and then we'll reboot. And there we go. It's finished. What is finished? The installation. Then we, we reboot. We got XFCE. We've got LTS. Let's have a look. Yes, it says already Linux LTS. But after a nice new fetch, you'll see that we have another kernel right LTS kernel and with XD you know we have only one desktop XFC desktop that's what we log into and then the rest is up to you what did you decide and this remember we changed the icons on the live DVD not here so if you want to go back to arc light maybe or arc darker icons new make circle arc fonts maybe make it a little bit bigger it's entirely up to you in black right select close done and everything will be changed so we've added uh, vlc there and uh, vivaldi is there extra on top of xs and sublime text that's the only changes with it and we removed um, saturday and surfing but we can also install the other one we've created which was pseudo pacma minus s arco linux and now i remember i think it was candy or something yeah candy beauty i have to think about my sweet tooth candy right candy beauty and we'll try to maintain that one as well candy beauty because i like it All right, that's me. I'm out. We have built ourselves an Arclinx LTS. If that's your thing, you need the LTS kernel. This is the way to go. And if you say, Eric, oh, XFC, I'd rather have something else, Ctrl Alt E. And now you type in and launch the Arclinx tweak tool. And maybe you've seen the videos already today about the cute fish. Cute fish, okay. Install up. Q 
Qtfish is installed. So now we have an XFCE with Qtfish. Okay, then you log out after everything is done here. We can log out and have a look at Qtfish. So freedom all around. Much is what we give you. And patience is what you should do. Listen is what you should do. Try and make errors. That's also normal. But never give up. And there we are. We've got ourselves a cute fish. Have fun exploring Arch Linux. In general, have fun exploring Linux. And um, welcome to the Arch Linux University. Cheers.